So um, Anton from Simple FOC has added support for um, stepper motors to his uh, cool library. Um, and I thought I'd check it out. Uh, so you can see on his website he's got stepper motor um, and a couple of stacked Simple FOC shields. Um, each shield has got um, three half bridges in it, but um, a stepper motor needs four half bridges, so um, Anton needed to use two shields um, to get this working. Uh, there's a nice cool video there to have a look at. Um, so what I've got going here is I've got a pair of um, stepper motors. Uh, this is from like an old balance bot I had I was working on about six months ago. Um, and in order to get a pair of um, stepper motors working, uh, we basically need uh, eight half bridges. Um, just quickly show you what the rest of this looks like. So we've got a uh, power supply over there, 12 volts. That's coming down into, this is a, oops, froze a bit there, Storm 32 um, gimbal controller. So the power's coming in here. Um, I've got a couple of leads, not very exciting. One's um, ST-Link and the other one is uh, FTDI for serial. Um, but the interesting stuff here is these are the four leads coming in. As you can see, because the um, a normal brushless D DLC um, has, has got three cables, but this has got four. I've kind of got one of the extra fours going over to the sort of middle um, driver. So I'm using kind of eight out of the nine um, half bridges. So I mean, I'll just pop that back over there. Um, uh, a quick look at the source code. It's pretty simple really. Um, two stepper motors. Uh, this is like, there's two two windings in a stepper motor. So this is like the positive and negative of the first winding and the positive and negative of the second winding. Um, obviously eight wires in all. Um, I set a voltage limit of four for each of these. That's because I'm running in uh, open loop. Um, it's going to be using a fair bit of um, juice if we need a closed loop to sort of save energy um, and then I basically all I'm doing is basically calling motor1.move with a target velocity and then this bit of code is just getting it to sort of cycle through positive and negative speeds using sort of a sign thing um, but that's about it really um, quite impressed that it sort of worked straight away and um, these uh, kind of Storm 32 boards, they're kind of SDM 32s, so they're a little bit harder to program because you need an ST link or some other mechanism, you can't do it for USB. But they're pretty cool um, and um, they're quite, quite good for projects like this. Anyway, that's the lot. Cheers.